I don't. Uh, I, I do want to reiterate as well. I do not think things are as broken as they may appear to be or are proposed to be by some. Well, I do think there is some dysfunctionality to some extent. I think uh, historically you can look back and say that there's a little bit of that in every police department that's ever existed mm. to some extent. Yeah. Especially uh, getting the ground up and getting started, getting the feet moving. And, you know, certain things complicate those uh, situations. Some things could uh, make things easier. I know that it was, if somebody said that a big topic of discussion was uh, like filling out the ranks and stuff like that, but uh, that like gap between like senior and captain filling out those ranks really is going to uh, provide nothing in my opinion other than people just squabbling over each other and, you know, eh, just, just pulling rank on each other because right now like there's nothing that seniors particularly do that like a sergeant couldn't do right in my personal opinion uh at least in my experience as well minor uniform like, infraction they have infraction. delegated imagine if you got fired for what that. they can and what they choose to down to us i mean the, the only thing from a patrol standpoint and functionality standpoint, in my opinion, that the captains do is making the final decisions on like certain big situations, warrants, and like people get, getting promoted. Right. To full officer. Yeah. Let me ask and you a question that I asked yeah. earlier. Do you feel like things have been at a standstill while the captains have been missing or? You know, leave of absence. Um, uh, unbiased opinion, yes, but <laughs> there, at least in Turner's case, there's nothing he could really do about it. No, that's fair. Like, I, I, if if it was out of city reasons, then I won't blame him. Yeah. So, um, but with that being said, you know, we organized everything properly to the point of, upon his return, everything would continue to slow, flow smoothly mm -hmm. and uh, be fine. So, all right. But that's. Uh, no, I will never, ever. If there's an OOC I don't reason feel for like, you to uh, not be in the city or you not. I, I personally don't feel like the other ships or would have can't been do able something, to I will never same. use that against you in comparison. I feel like that's bullshit. Uh, Shift 3, like, specifically has a lot of. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, if that's the case, I would never, teams. ever hold it against you. And them. everybody's very experienced. Majority of people have been in command or high command or some extent of that. Uh, so, you know, between uh, myself and Flop and now Alice and obviously having the uh, little bit of the guiding hand from Rhodes as well mm. when necessary. There you no. go. Had no real, had no real issue. All right. There, there, yeah. That's good to know. All right. Well, honestly, I think the only thing we can do from this point is just we. I need to hear out what Max has planned exactly, uh, yeah. and then just see how this meeting goes. Because I don't personally. At first, I was on the on the fence, but I feel like after hearing people out and whatnot, I don't think what Max is trying to push is necessarily bad or incorrect. It's definitely putting fire under the captains to be vocal and to get things done. And if it wasn't, we wouldn't be here having this conversation right now. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, as long as there's a fail safe, not necessarily for you two, but for whoever uh, would supplant you in the future, hmm. if they would come in with negative intentions, as long as there's a fail safe that would kind of protect the city and protect the police department from any... Uh, Kind of outrageous steps or yeah i can going beyond the boundaries yeah i can see why that would be an issue and i don't think it will be and i will make sure that i talk to max about having that in writing if anything i think what is the entire goal is to have the two months that we're still in office to make these changes and have somebody elected as uh, as either chief of 
police or as the commissioner so they can take over going forward. And then from that point, I don't think the mayor's office will be really involved past that point. Because I don't know going forward if we can trust people to have that power. So that is the thing. I think right now, and again, I'm saying this because I believe that Max has all of PD's best interests in mind, that it would make sense. Would I hand it to somebody else in the future? No, hell no. And that's why I, I feel think like that's where a big worry comes in for... I mean, I cannot speak for them, but at least from a logistical standpoint. Mm. Like, like PD's, uh, I'm sure Jenny can attest to this as well. To get things properly, like, foundationalized and off the ground, it, it takes a lot of time. Yes. And a lot of things being the same and actually being in order. Yes. And if the foundation of that is constantly being, like, taken and swapped out, you know, it eventually the building's going to fall. Yeah. Mm. But I also do feel like... Um, a lot of the PD's problems are probably, as I previously mentioned, just like blue on blue stuff. Like people just, you know, silently, like a high school, just at each other's throats to some extent. Yeah. Because regardless of what people want to. For a second. Right now? Mm, yeah, it's possible. Aaron, entertain the officer. Oh, entertain him? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Barrett. I guess I'm here to entertain you. <laughs> um, uh, I just got a phone call from Cantor, who is with Melton, and would like a meeting Mother with you and me. Okay. All right, I he guess. He said, hey. I want a meeting with you, but hey, can you bring Michael too? I guess we're gonna go from this meeting to another meeting. Yep, I guess we are. Ah, okay. Meeting day, woo! Ah, I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here, <laughs> I like how Jenny's been pulled into this. It's nothing to do with her. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> okay. I entertained him. Thank you. What? She just called me a fucking peeper because I look out of my window every <laughs> once in a while. He looks out oh, of his called, window and he spies on us. She called me that as yeah. well when I first yeah. called her out. So. Oh, he is I a peeper. I you all the time. What? He plays this track. I need to add this to my like song. Who's that? And it's always you. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with all of you? God forbid I like to, you know, do stuff around the house in my pajamas, you fucking pervs. All of you. I... Bunch of peeping toms. I'm surrounded by nosy ass neighbors. Yeah. Well, you should move somewhere that's like underground so they don't have windows. Well, you know, housing is very expensive, okay? I, I think we'll be living here for a while. Probably not underground. You just dig a fucking hole. Okay, yeah, just dig a fucking. She's I'm gonna a dig cop, a hole no. under the chicken coop so I can just enter through there and go down and like a like a gopher. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I don't want to keep you for too long, but just. I imagine you have a busy day ahead. Yeah. yeah don't let me keep you. Uh, but just keep in mind. I just like... was curious how uh, some people. I knew how some people felt about it mm. on the console, but I was curious where. Uh, your minds were as well. Warlock, thank you so much for the bandits. I really appreciate it. Um, my mind is that I think it's a good thing. Uh, and I want you to know that I I can, again, I won't speak for Max because I, I don't know, but from what I know of him and how I feel about things, we are doing this for for PD's best interest, not to try and, and drive PD into the ground. Because you know of my past, you know what I did, yeah. and you know my opinions. And I'm, I wouldn't do this because I want to see PD fail. I want to see PD in a better place. And I'm doing what I did 
five years ago, but I'm doing it from the inside out, basically. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure, bud. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh huh. Sure. Uh huh. Sure, sniping me was definitely part of what you need to okay, do as well, we, right? we need to not oh. bring that up right now. We, we oh. just... Right, <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. Don't part of the conversation. That's not what we're talking about right now. You went there. Anyways, what? I appreciate your time. I have one final question. Yes. If you don't mind. Sure. What happens if all this does go through? And then Max is not who you believe he is. Uh, as in, he will drive PD into the ground? Yeah. I think if he does that, then he will get impeached. And I will, as much as I support Max, I will... Uh, I will allow that. Like I told Nakoda when I talked to him earlier, if Max does to go to the degree of trying to take Nakoda's position away, I will definitely stand in the way. As for the captains, I cannot say, because I don't know them. It kind of depends. I think Nakoda is doing a good job. I appreciate Nakoda, and I think he's doing everything the correct way, so stripping him of, stripping him of his position is not something I would like to see happen. Okay. Uh, Max is voted in by the people and if he he does something so extreme as to running the PD into the ground that would go against everything and I think in that case he will get impeached for it hmm. and then I, right. would, I would assume that everything that he has done will just get reverted if that is the case Fair enough. Well, yeah, but you know. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming up there and talking to me. Of course, I appreciate your time. I wish I could give you something that was more, you know, positive and stuff. But it's not the end of the world. It's 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 the cycle of defeating. You just oh, yeah. stop being oh, yeah. so it's fucking. Just, we're just on the law. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, I chat. Know. What they're worried you about is that Max wants to, like, to run the PD like into the ground like more than it already is. I hope so. By I firing everybody and having, yeah. Let's so go. let it go to our high. Yeah. We'll see how things go. But, yes. Uh, I will keep you in the loop. I'll let you know. If you don't already hear about it. Yeah, I imagine uh, I'll hear about it to some extent, but yeah, I'd oh, be appreciative. Oh. Yeah. Uh, if you guys ever need anything, just let me know. Yeah. Um, uh, thanks for your phone call away. Uh, yeah. Thank I'll you. Let me keep you. All right. You guys take care. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Need a breather? Are you good? <laughs> Get back number. Do you need it? Uh, I got it here. Who is the one that sent sent Barrick's number in the first place? That's Suarez. Contacted me. Wait, do I not have Suarez's number? I don't know how you were. How, with him. how do you spell Suarez? S U A R E Z. Is it Barrick or Barrick? With an E. Barrick. R E. No. Uh, B E R I C. Barrick. Yeah. Did you get okay, your tea? Running. Did you get your tea urine? Yeah. All right. I have bad news for you, honey. What? I got another meeting. What? Yeah. I love Eric, and I would be more than happy to see him in a position can like that. Can I change I into appropriate non my non felonious <laughs> attire? Yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, I love Eric, and I would love to see him in in, in that position if it comes to it. Uh, mm, I don't know. Again, I don't want to. Do you think he would fit in that position? Do you think he want that position? I don't think he wants it, which is exactly why he'll thrive. Okay. If it he, also if seems people... like he was very passionate, even though I don't have a yeah. say. It genuinely seems like opinion. he cares a lot. 
you all that, that's the thing though that people need to realize that everyone has to say when it comes to this shit i don't know that, that i hate the fact that people go to twitter instead of talking to me or max about things everyone has a say and an opinion if you're against something just fucking voice it to us putting it on twitter i don't give a shit i don't read that but yes no he does seem he seemed like passionate and if his name is brought forward i will definitely plus one him on that and that's why like when the, the fact that he said that that there is an officer that would probably have been fired if it was for the captains instead but they were the ones that had to deal with it and they chose to keep him or not strike him to the same degree it just shows that he has a compassion and he sees a bigger picture it's a really like, good thing you don't read twitter i don't wait why don't worry about it what is going on? What did on you put what, on Twitter? What, what, is, what, what, what is on Twitter? Did you see the text I sent you, Michael? Well, yes, I don't want. I, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I wanted to leave that from my memory. <laughs> That's what they were doing the house yesterday. Stanley was running around with his shirt off, taking photos of Sis with his fucking meat out. Why? I don't know, and then they were all like fucking giggling and shit, and so like Keen and I, we just went to go see, and that's what we walked in on. <laughs> it's, they're at City Hall. Uh, they want head of the bar office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what is that twat? It's affectionate. Uh-huh. Oh, I only call the people I like bitches. Okay. Yeah, it is. I want to see Cornwood back as, as as much as the next guy. <sighs> it's all people also need to realize. I, again, I mean, I was it's just a fucking, guessing if you actually read Twitter. Or it's not. a fucking balancing act, because we don't want it to be like 3.0. We don't want it to be, you know, oh, cops are not being held accountable. But you also need to use like see. So what is that that was clunking around just then, huh? My moonshine. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, Jenny and I are matching now. Perfect. Sometimes you need to see through fingers or between fingers with things. Not that they're not What's being that? held accountable, but you have to see the bigger picture. Levin, fuck off, dude! I need you to clean some of this shit. I just need to do the jewelry. Do I think he should be punished as much as he did for one life you character? Don't yes. I don't want. Fucking, I, you, I don't you, there's feel. Literally 40, I don't feel like one life character shouldn't matter to the same degree. I think 000? the fact that somebody died should matter more because that is how you really should treat everybody. When you shoot somebody, you shoot somebody with the assumption that they might die from getting shot. The assumption that you don't die is because it's role play and it's so lenient and that's why it's all willy-nilly when people go and stab each other does it change your opinion on one life of stabbing a cop does he deserve to get shot and die probably if you stab the cop i'm not saying what a, a one lifer did is justified I'm saying that people shouldn't treat, should not treat shooting nor stabbing like it, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, I get it. You're obsessed, and I, I appreciate it. But we also, we, I owe you so much money right now. It's it's in the fucking jewelry that you haven't run yet. You're the only one who can run it. I mean, right now, yeah, you have like five pounds yes, of like 2k. There, there should be consequences yeah. for things. That's 10k. But sometimes you also, like I oh said, have God, to look between two. the lines and let something slip if it's oh for God, the you're kind of greater good. Oh my God, you're a Scottish mother. Oh my God, you're a single mother. Yeah, exactly. Actually, that's yeah, that's no, what okay. I mean, April. If uh, you use George a weapon, Marl, you should expect that people can Jimmy die from LV, using said okay. weapon. Not just because right. it's a one life. If you get any more, just let me know, okay? I'm not actually bad that you've got more, but I am kind of stressed the fact that we have so much jewelry and we don't have any scuba scuff. I don't know what that is. Give me a sec. Right. Sure. 
This is my live air room. Are you happy that you're tagging along? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. <clears throat> you just like the tea, don't you? Man, it's more tea than we have going on lately. Shit, for, you know, I kind of feel like we're a well-oiled machine right now. I don't want to jinx that, actually. <laughs> you just back. did. No, no, I take it back. We're a fucking mess. Oh. Please call him a... Yeah, but I don't think Cornwood was penalized for mag dumping. It was for shooting at uh, a sub or not a subject, a for shooting a person that was already down. I'm littering. Hold on. Yeah, you're fine. What does McGregor want? <laughs> yes, McGregor. Yeah, we all like Michael Simone and all. Uh huh. But I want to make you Michael Simone. Why is he like this? Why not? Did you tell him to say that? No, he told me. He was, he was like, I want you. I want to visit Michael. So I'm like, okay. Like, why do you want to do that? He's like, I've thought of a pun. I was like, what is it? And he told me it. And then I was like, yeah, you should call him. I think they need to redo the system, maybe. Making it one, two, three instead of five. I might get in the way of Mac's amazing Riz lessons. So what do you think of the DAP system? Um... It's pretty extreme. It's, it's okay. It's reasonable, but extreme. It, but extreme. It's yeah. like it's too vague in what. Like okay, so I look at things like I would say that everything needs a warning first before you go straight to a DAP point. Like minor uniform infractions. Yeah, tell Bro, them to take that shit off. And if they imagine, don't, then do it. Imagine if you fucking got suspended for or like completely removed from the PD for <laughs> yeah, but, a uniform okay. infraction. Like, but I. But this is the reality: is that people would do. So I understand it because people would. There were like certain officers that every single fucking day I'd have to be like take that shit off. It is not part of uniform every single day. Mm. So I get it, and like we would end up striking them. Also. Ignoring chain of, uh, chain of command, that was a massive one. Yeah. But, like, not following chain of command. But literally everything starts with, like, a, hey, don't do that shit again. Are you getting a DAP point? I don't feel like it should go straight to a DAP point. You feel a bit... You do the point of, like, if you're a shitty person and you need to be told instantly because you don't get the picture. But if you're a person who's just made I a mistake... It. I and, get like, it, Seth. I'm not against it. It's a weird one. Okay, let me ask you this, though. And this is, like, a very specific nit like scenario. Uh, Say that somebody has nine DAP points... Yeah. And the last point is for this specific reason, uniform. Do, would you give them the last app point and then have them indefinitely suspended? Or would Depends you tell them? Depends if I've told them before. If I've given them an opportunity before to correct their ways and they haven't, then I would because that is blatant, dis blat blatant disrespect. Okay. If it's not, it's the first time and then they're like, I don't know, they're wearing a hat that isn't approved. And I'd be like, okay, take that shit off. Mm. And if they did, then who gives a fuck? Like, it's, it's a hat, it's gone. Okay. But if they didn't, and it was like... Also, 60 days is so long, dude. 60 days longer than your sexual limitation is a criminal. I, yeah, I think, again, That's this, ridiculous. Needs, this needs to be changed. Um, say he put on the hat. And mm -hmm. then, yes, I agree. If he put the same hat on after getting told no, and then you gave him a strike. Say he, he yes. put on the hat, he got a warning. Then yeah. he goes and puts on something else and gets another warning? Or would you give him a um, I point? would pretty much make it clear that, like, if they're not supposed to wear wearing hats, and I make it clear that you have a set hat that you may wear, when I'm telling him to take it off, I'm like, you know what you are allowed to wear of a uniform. And then if you went and tried to circumvent that, then I'd give him the point. Okay. At that point, it's pushing... It's like a it's, it's, it's like a child, isn't it? Like, you give them a warning, you let them change their ways. If they don't, then there's a punishment. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, you, you, you've got to... It's like... That points like this are basically yeah, like... Yeah, bike duty, traffic. There's a lot of ways like, you can, like, like, you can punish bonus. somebody. You give them a chance to rectify. If they don't, then you get a punishment. I also feel like if you look at it in a way, a, a certain degree of strike should count more. Like, 
how do you explain it? Say you were at nine and you got one point for uh, wearing a uniform. Like that would put you at ten. Would you, would but you I would also indefinitely say, suspend somebody? You... Or... Yes, because why are you playing without fire? If you know you're at nine that points and you know because everyone is open to this, they know that wearing that that doing that wearing that hat is going to get them the point. Why would you then try and do that at that point? You know the risks. You are actively taking those risks, mm. which you could argue it, it doesn't matter if it's your first, second, ninth, eighth dap point. Yeah. If you are, you know, every time you're doing it, you're not stupid. Okay, that's why they're one. If you're already at nine, it means that you've been doing some some stuff. Look, some of these I can look at and go right. We would punish you and say, "Hey, you've really fucked up here. I get it was a mistake, so we're going to give you, but we still need to give you the five strike points because that's how consistency works." Okay. That that makes sense. Would you? But if you're. Oh, go on. No. Uh, would you then be also okay with that if you do get the ten strike point that it is then put up for a review by a person that is not the captains? Yes, one hundred percent. You should never be reviewing your own point, yeah. your own punishment. Never be doing that because you are biased. It's the same way that when we had IA, we had IA officers who would make the complaint and then investigate it, and we would say no because you have no, you are too invested. Mm. Regardless of whether you think you're the most neutral person either, you're you're too invested. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So where are we meeting these guys? Uh, they said the Jenny head of bar is reasonable. Office. The bar, okay. Molten's office. Yeah, yeah, those up upstairs. Jenny is reasonable, and she sees it from both point of views. Also, you've also huh? got to remember as well, with a lot of this punishment, you've got people like Gunner whose intent was to push boundaries. Mm -hmm. to see how far he could push it until he got in trouble. And some people are naturally like that because they like bending the rope. Booing, yeah. What's this meeting? The same as before. The same one. Same thing, Aaron. Oh, with who? Two set of people, Molten and Penta. Oh, <laughs> You're my assistant. You're taking notes. Oh, okay. Uh huh. With your 100, 180 words per minute or whatever the fuck it was. Um. Yeah. 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 One hundred eighty. That's absolutely what it is. Yep. It was the hundred and thirty-eight, mm -hmm. wasn't it? That's still insane. It was a hundred and forty-two. How dare you? Okay, you better give bad. me those fucking digits that's back. Insane. Okay. It's not as insane as hundred eighty. I have some catching up to do. The fuck did that come mental. from? I did not see that yesterday. It was there yesterday. Was it? Yeah, it was there oh. two days ago. I had a meeting here and ran it out. Yeah, she does 142, I think she sent me, uh, of 100% words per minute. She's fucking... <laughs> oh, behind us. Is it locked? It is. Might have to knock. Knock, knock. Please. Got a TV in here. Miles is the oh, hey, that boss. Nice, oh, nice hey, TV. Hey, Hi, doing? Cancer. Hey, you're Good. probably fired in a week unless you want to listen to this. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll, uh, Congratulations, I'll sure. Aaron. Th thank you so much, uh, Malton. Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah, you got a week to, to float that pay. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> all right. I mean, the, the preamble, this uh, this room is, is whisper proof, so we, we don't got to worry about uh, travel or nothing. Uh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, look, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, you know, it's not, I saw you, you put stuff in there. I, I would like your read on, on this legislation mm -hmm. because uh, if, if, if my uh, timeline is accurate, uh, this was this was shotgunned out at a time when you were probably sleeping. <laughs> it was. Yeah. I woke up to this and I called yeah, I, Max, I, I, oh yeah. and he was like, "Have you seen the latest thing I've added?" I was yeah. like, mm -hmm. "All right, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought." Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Oh I, I, yeah, I, I I would like to hear what what your thoughts on 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 all. That. I saw you put some notes in there, but yeah. yeah I, I'm... Um, my thoughts are, at first when I read it, I was on defense about it. And then as as I've been talking more and more to people, both the captains, people from the PD, people from the outside, I am definitely more and more for it. 
Um, I can see why people have their reservations. I can see why people have their concerns. I can see why people are being defensive about it, especially the captains, because right now the captains are all three the highest in terms of rank when it comes to the PD other than the federal government. Correct. Meaning that right now Max is challenging their position and their power. He absolutely is, yep. Um, but like Jenny have pointed out, the way it's worded, the way it's it's presented is very aggressive and it seems like it's a forced or like an aggressive yes. takeover. I, I mean, It really I, does. When we already had the civilian oversight board going and everything, I just... I, I, I don't think it, see it. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's phrased that way. But where uh, where where I'm coming from, and and I believe I, I said this in in my spitball. Uh, I, this I is where you, I you get to that, try and convince that them to vote word for garbage. It. I, I shot out at five a.m. my oh, time. God. But um, uh, I I I have no idea what the current status quo of the PD. I, I mean, Jenny wouldn't know this, but it, in the past, uh, the PD was not autonomous. In the past, we answered to the the Senate, mm -hmm. uh, and and despite despite what people may think, uh, the Senate did respond to PD High Command when 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 we called yep. upon them. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's my president. Uh, yeah, that... oh, uh, oh my! Oh my sorry. God, Aaron! Sorry, this was not Jesus. a uh, this was not a p political attempt uh, of assassination. I swear. Uh -huh. <laughs> Give her freedom now. Under our, our current system, uh, is the PD completely autonomous until we legislate a change, or yes. is there a a Okay, you're, you're, you're saying yes. You're, is that, yeah. is that, that's your read on everything? Uh, right now, we don't really have a say when it comes to anything PD related. The only thing that we can okay, do is give... you don't have a say, but are they completely autonomous? Those are different things. I think the only one that really have anything to say when it comes to PD would be the federal government. Us, as in the council and the mayor, has nothing, as far as I know. The only thing that we can do is we can we can give them a budget, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And that that's really only at a... I, mm -hmm. I think that uh, yeah, the the PD is uh, is incentivized to play ball, yeah, via ETA, uh, you know, via the civilian oversight Absolutely. board, mm -hmm. uh, you know, via just council votes in, in general. But yeah, that's that that's that, that's where I'm at. Is if I'm mm -hmm. if I'm looking at this on a, a at a corporate structure level, you know, if I'm if I'm putting something on paper, mm -hmm. uh, where where does the where, who is the the direct superior to the police department? And and you're saying your your read is, is currently it's it's nobody. It's the captains are the highest in yeah, terms of command, and then captains to feds or yeah, yeah, captains to the mm -hmm. states. Are, yes, yeah. that's, okay. yes, they're essentially appointed like yeah, crane and editor from my understanding. So, so they my, have a level of oversight through that, same as crane and editor. No one's putting someone above them. You don't, you don't trust me. Assuming, uh, well, you know, I, I'm going to assume that, uh, you know, obviously you've been talking about this a while. Uh, I, I don't know how much you've talked with uh, Max about this, but uh, what, what's your read on... I, I agree, they, they need oversight. Uh, I, I don't know how much, and I, I don't know with what powers. I, but, so yeah, like, I haven't, unfortunately, been able to talk to Max, because when I did he, call yeah. him, he uh, he was, like, uh, borderline yeah. going to bed. Yeah. Um, my read on it is that I don't think Max is doing anything malicious as much as it might come across as very aggressive and the way that... But you know how Max is. Like, he's very open mm -hmm. and very direct. So when he says things, he says, he says the things that he means and what he mm -hmm. thinks. And I can see why that would come across as very... Who the fuck is outside the door and yelling? I swear to God. It sounds like... Fucking one of the group six people that's always running around. I'm gonna go down there and tell them to shut up. I think he's right outside the door. Sorry, sorry. Like I said, I uh, I, I think yeah, they 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 should have some oversight. They should mm -hmm. an, uh, answer to, to someone. The question I, I would propose to you, uh, Deputy Mayor, the same question I propose to the mayor is... Um, I can't hear them anymore. Why, why the mayor, mayor's office? Like, it, uh, is, 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 the, is the council... Uh, let's, let's take it a step back. Do you, is, in your opinion, is, is the council going to be too slow to affect change within the PD or, or oversee the PD? Mm, I get your point. Yeah. Uh, 
Do I think it would be an easier pill to swallow if we used the council instead? Yes, 100%. 100%. Yes, um, absolutely, yes. Do I think we would need the entire council and would it have be a weekly thing in that case and would it be too slow? Possibly. And I think that's why, as it is written, that you they would put forward a a bunch of names that then would get selected as commissioner that would then be the face, I guess, of whatever goes on at PD and then having the mayors make those changes or whatever. <sighs> and uh, uh yeah in 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 the the, the lightest terms I, I could say this is yeah. what the fuck is this commissioner i mean like if, if i'm taking yeah. this at, at face value it's top of the the pd pyramid but as uh, jenny very well remembers uh the commissioner title we ended up getting back in the day was very different than what we think as a traditional commissioner uh -huh. yep. i don't know what a commissioner was back in the day the way that i'm seeing the commissioner and in this context would be a person that is we just had a conversation with somebody and the way it was put is that it's a person that sees the bigger picture but also has a humane side to them that actually cares about people and can see when you have to make a decision when you have to be harsh when you have to do things but can also not see between fingers but can see when it's not working in the pd's favor so it, it would be a person like that because right now it seems like the, the captains are all over the place and that's the gist of i'm getting from it is that one captain does one thing in one di like one way the other one is doing doing it in a, in a different way and there's no uh Mm. Like cohesion. cohesion, yeah. They my, are the ones my, striking, and then they're also the the ones reviewing set strikes. I mean, my, my yes, read of the, the uh, yeah, my my, my yeah. read of the, of the system is uh, you know, there, there's one captain for each shift. I uh, you know, their their shift is, is is their baby for the most part. However, for wider PD decisions, mm. uh, policy discussions, uh, to some extent, punishments and and things like that. Uh, it is uh, two out of three rules the day. So mm -hmm. uh, if if one captain is doing something that uh, is not liked, that the check is uh, the the other two. Uh, I I think that raises a lot of questions. Is is what happens if one captain is out of pocket? Um, mm -hmm. And I, I don't I don't know. I I assume they are communicating daily, uh, despite what people may think. In in the same way that previous high command administrations have. Right. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that that's uh, that that that's their current system is a uh, two thirds uh, can can make policy, and I I don't know if I agree with that on an institutional level either. Yeah, uh, that's, that's kind of how it was with the hospital. Yeah, I guess uh, that, it's, that's it's like me, the, Jeanette, and yeah. Fraser. We're not always there at the same time. Sometimes we have different opinions on things, hmm. but it's all working towards one cohesive goal. Uh, uh, the different opinions, if anything, only serves to benefit that. If so that uh, we can land in the best place. If I if I could ask point blank, and mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to pull back the curtain uh, this much, then then simply say so. Uh, but does uh, I mean you, you have a a commissioner esque uh, role? I or are is that like what what is what is the role of uh, like that that one in, in, in individual? Like are are they like a commissioner kind of light at the top? Like can they override like the the three board members? Like if if all three board members vote for something. And uh, you then, know, that, that 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 the the hospital commissioner doesn't want to happen does does it not happen? I guess we. Uh, I assume the hospital commissioner would be Derek in this sense. Yes, sorry, um, I, 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 I wasn't I wasn't sure what what, what, yeah, what his uh, name was. No, that's okay. I uh, never um, see him. No, uh, Derek Shaw. Yeah, that's him. Uh, Shaw. That's neither I, do I. I, I it's I okay. The not, last neither name. do I. I. The first. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We're not um we're not a direct uh comparison. Um, okay. So I will say Derek is similar to uh a level of oversight. Um, he he is someone who, you know, we have to run things through. Um, he steps in when he feels like he has to. Uh, and without getting too much into hospital politics, uh, I do not recommend it. <laughs> Uh, it, it is awful and it slows us down horrifically. Um, when we are people with uh, experience that are actually here all the time, 
that are actually doing the job. Yeah, but they're, uh, they're using... Mm, in fairness, though, using Derek in that case might not be the best. I, I, I wasn't intending to be a one-on-one It's not the best comparison. Uh, yeah, don't worry, like, uh, I, you know, don't want to dive into all of it, because I know there's more to it than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it slows us down horrifically. I, I do not think putting the PD in that position uh, is a, a good idea. Like, for us, you know, we don't have to make as many split-second decisions. Um, the hospital runs slower. Uh, the PD, <laughs> literally every day, have people trying to kill them, of uh, you know, extremely high-stakes shit to respond to. Mm, uh, but that wouldn't slowing change, them down... Mm, would it could it uh, work if it's somebody who is active and they're day in day out? Uh, that would be far better. But then why not just have a chief of police uh, like a normal PD instead of any of this? Why Whoa. not just let them build their? I feel like this chief... is a fancy name for that. Yes, I, th I feel like commissioner and chief of police is borderline the same. Okay. Thing. Why not just yeah. let them vote for their chief of police instead of make it under the mayor's oversight before they've even had the chance? They have uh, something in mind they've been working for for two and a half months, something that they yeah. uh, care about greatly, um, you know, a process that they're working towards. Why break it all down immediately without even giving them a chance? Mm, I think the, the the overall issue and the concern is that it, is, it all falls back to the PD enforcing the PD the PD making the PD decisions, meaning that everything okay. is still internally instead of having a, a somewhat external look on things. Okay, so have the civilian oversight board have a little bit of teeth. I, I, I do not see why this is necessary still. We have a civilian oversight board. We have a plan in place that we have already discussed that will oversee some of what they are doing. Because uh, like I said, the, you know, they have to have the ability to make decisions on the go. Uh, they cannot slow down for, for things like that. So let the captains do it. And then you have the civilian oversight board who can review all of that. Uh, whatever their fucking dabs are that people aren't happy about, it's... have the ability, they can appeal it to the civilian oversight board. Problem solved. I, I don't see why it's not, necessary. It's, really it's not don't. solved, though. The thing is that the civilian not? oversight board is still not a thing. We are not... Okay, and it, it will be. Yeah, it will, this. yes, it will be, but when? Good, good question, Crane. When will it, when will you put up the election, Crane? Please, Crane. Okay, so please. we can push for that to get done to Crane. Okay, uh, then we this. also need so to make the changes to the civilian overbites board because they need to have teeth. They need to be able to make changes because as of right now, the only thing they can do... I don't disagree. Do I'm saying give them is, teeth. Yes. So and why this? Because at the end of the day, that the civilian oversight board is a good thing. We need people that look at, look at it from the outside. And then they can bring the issues forward that they see. As of right now, they don't have any teeth. They can't do anything about it. They can bring it to the captains okay, so and we the captains. That. I know. Give yes. It all to the mayor's office. It's not being given all to the mayor's office, though. It is. That that is quite literally how it having the chief, Whoa. having yeah. the chief of police and having somebody selected is is the point of this. Is that we need to step in now so we can get this fucking sh like this fucking train rolling. Uh, why do you have to step in now? Why do you have to unravel uh, the, what because it's a shit show towards for so long? Uh, from everything I've heard, it is not. The only from... person I've heard it's a shit show from is Cornwood, who very clearly just wants to be able mm. to get away with whatever he wants. Hey, I will step in and say that as somebody who has got no ball in this park and does not care, I just really care about the people that I'm friends with. A lot of people are very unhappy within the PD currently. And that doesn't is... feel that they are being restricted in terms of everything they do. Uh, in mm -hmm. fact, the words were given to me is that I need to act like a professional while acting stupid. Well, it's a learning process. Um, two and a half <laughs> months is not a long time. They are working towards something. They have a goal in mind. They are uh, they are learning, and from the discussions with the captains, they're very open to feedback as well. So why this? Why so overbearing? That's the part that I I'm missing here. Why is this necessary? I'm not saying nothing is necessary. I'm completely on board with giving the oversight, civilian oversight board more teeth. I'm completely on board with uh, Malton's idea was to send someone in to review what they're doing, to give uh, you know um, unbiased opinions. And I'm completely for all of space, this. Office space, but why anybody? is this necessary? Yeah, that I, is uh, what I'm failing to see. 
my uh my, my general proposal uh with this is uh, if this comes down to like an all or nothing thing uh fuck if i know i i'll, I'll have to see the the fucking bloodbath that's going to be the start of this meeting with uh, the captains <laughs> the, the mayor and, and cornwood if he shows up but uh if if i could wave a wand uh what what i would uh like to see is uh, I, I would like to see a, a vote of no confidence with the city. I don't, on Mo, there's nothing wrong with the thing the, Molly is how doing. They think the PD is She's questioning run. it. Uh, that is the good. City is filled with a, a lot there of There shouldn't uh, be just people. yes. I'm not saying that we, we take their yes, uh, men. opinion as gospel, but I, I would be interested in a yes or no or I don't know. I, I would be curious to see how many people think the PD is being run versus the PD is shit. And I would. Uh, <laughs> I, I would like to send in the, the equivalent of a fact-finding mission uh, to determine. I would agree to all of that. Yes. Uh, what what the fuck is going on in, in PD right now? Is is it truly yeah. something that they just need more time for, or uh, is, is the two out of three rule the day policy actually causing bottlenecks, fucking things up, and mm -hmm. they they think they are uh, above the government? Absolutely, I'm completely okay with all of that happening and being convinced that this is necessary. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh. I have not been yet uh, in in the scope of everything. Uh, this is a giant step uh, that I just do not believe has been justified yet. Uh, if we go through the processes that Molten is outlined and it turns out to be necessary, then fuck it. You've got me. But we have not done that yet. Okay. And again, I'm. Uh, this is going to be like devil's advocate kind of. Mm hmm then we're going to be two months in the future and nothing has been changed. And then we realize there's an, uh, there is an issue. And again, nothing has changed in those two months. D yeah, that's, I'll be honest. I, I would rather uh, give them a bit of time to improve. And then we fix it when we know there are issues, then fuck over everything for the people who are there day in, day out, trying to make uh, a PD and who are actually doing the job. Okay. Uh, w what is your concern? And I'm again, I'm just playing devil's advocate because I, I get the way that it's written and the way it looks. It, it looks like it's a, just a takeover. Mm -hmm. What is your I concern? Mean, I, is, it that, even, is it that? Is it that? Don't get me wrong; it does read as power grabby, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not even assuming that. I'm I'm just taking it at face face value. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessary. I I think that we need to to prove mm -hmm. <laughs> why it is necessary more so before we completely take over. Uh, their autonomy to run what has who have what you, they have set up. Who have you talked to? Have you talked to the the captains themselves? Have you gone out and talked to officers uh, on have, duty? I have talked to the captains. Um, I've I've spoken with police in you know my line of my line of work. Don't get me wrong. I found out about all of this pretty much yesterday because I haven't been around too much, mm -hmm. so I haven't had the time to do all that. Like I was saying to Walton, I would be very happy to talk to people from all walks of the PD um, to get, uh, you know, a, a well-rounded view on it. But that is the kind of thing where, <laughs> once again, you know, I, I want a well-rounded view on this before, uh, okay. before what, I vote. What is your general assumption? If you hear from just the public, what what is the general, mm -hmm. like, when public talks about the PD, what do they say right now? That the PD is running, like, a well-oiled machine that they're lacking in force nope. uh, and they don't show up yeah, to their calls? Yeah, they're lacking in force. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, trust me, you're preaching to the choir there. The hospital has always had uh, an issue. Of when it shows up, up, it's calls. pretty damn good. Well, that's, that's the that's, thing. That's, I, that's what I've been getting to. I don't uh, disagree. Issue, I don't. Yeah. The, uh, the issue is uh, something I'm extremely sympathetic towards is they are hiring. I mm -hmm. know they are hiring. We can see, we can see uh, in this little staff list here who they are hiring we we know they are trying to expand their mm -hmm. force the issue um that i know all too well is actually uh retention and getting these cops to stay no, around no chat around, they uh, are hiring the issue is still that it's quality I over quantity of over meaning that it takes a long time and uh, yes fto burnout is a big like issue three hours where no one was working i am completely sympathetic to the fact that uh it is just not that simple um they are doing their best to make sure uh, that the people that they are hiring um, are actually to a level of quality so that they can pretty much carry the police force. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm very sympathetic to what they are going for. Don't get me wrong. I would, uh, 
I would be very. I, I've I've asked this of a couple of people now, uh, Michael. If you don't mind, can you can you read my ethical dilemma and and tell me what your response is to to that? Uh, is that 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 I I have a a, a stricter oath of office uh, for a, a reason, and that uh, that is playing in, into this a, a little bit. Um, I, I I will read I will read it for you, Jenny. If you want to give a response, because I I. Yeah, sure. I I highly value your opinion as a, mm -hmm. a, a former PD high commander. Um, my personal ethical dilemma. The Civilian Oversight Board is led by someone with a strict oath of office that could only give recommendations to PD. Mm -hmm. My understanding is you want a this because a strict oath of office who has some uh, in, in this position. Sorry, but... My understanding is that you want someone with a strict oath of office in this position to be giving recommendations to the PD. The mayor's office does not have a similar oath of office. At face value, it appears that someone with a looser o oath of office will have more power than the civilian oversight board. And uh, you, that, that, that opens up a general can of worms with like, uh, corruption, abuse of power, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not trying to point fingers. I'm, I'm just saying from a system standpoint, uh, the the mayor's office can do a lot with with, with this position. Uh, think, I don't, I don't yes. think that means we, we should shy away from it. But the the civilian oversight board, by design, is, is extremely limited it could, in what it could do with a strict oath of office. Yes. Uh, what what uh try, please you two help help me resolve my my di dichotomy in 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 giving the the mayor's office mm -hmm. uh this power uh more power than the civilian oversight board with uh, less less strings attached let's say wait uh repeat the last thing you just said resolve my ethical uh dilemma mm -hmm. for me or help me uh what, why why should more power be given to a group that has less strings attached to it or less requirements to it? So when you're saying a group, you mean us? In this case, it's the mayor's office. The mayor's so, office. To some extent, I, I would extend that to the, the, the council as well. But as, as you said earlier, I think the council is a much better pill to swallow. Yes. Um, yeah. What do you think? If this goes through, and the first thing that, that Max does is that he runs the PD... Not into the ground, but further into the ground. Making it even worse than it already is. Obviously that this is going to come out, that this is all Max's fault. What happens to Max? What, probably in peace at that point? Exactly. He, he, he's being I mean, held I, accountable yeah. for the things that he's doing. The captains we that are currently... We found time and time again that the impeachment process is a struggle to go through. The only person successfully impeached, as far as I'm aware of, was Abdul. And he was, was pretty... not... He was not he, impeached. Oh, he wasn't even impeached. There you he go. He was removed from he office even due to incom incompetency, not impeached. He was impeached in terms of like he got impeached, but it was not yeah. for the reason that the PD pushed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, impeachment is not a, a simple process. And it might not because be. Because of the uh, length of his term, mm -hmm. uh, it essentially changes nothing. By the time the impeachment has gone through, he's not mayor anymore. So I, I don't really see how we can just impeach him mm. really uh, well, it's like a perfect protection here with that logic that is saying that just the second the mayor becomes the mayor there's no reason to impe impeach him because his terms is only three months no i, I mean I, it's still available as an option but we shouldn't be using it as an excuse to do things that are overbearing mm, i think if the concern is that is that max is is doing this maliciously and and that but well in this case it's, it's not just max it's max and i we're this would be done in a malicious way then mm -hmm. removing us from our position wouldn't be out of the question right now you're having three captains that haven't been elected by the public they've been elected mm -hmm. and put in that position by uh, somebody else meaning that we cannot remove them even if they're incompetent if max Do you believe they're incompetent I don't know, but from what I've been told with the meeting earlier, and again, Max is very loud, and we know that from our meetings, previous meetings. Uh, mm -hmm. He's very straightforward, and he, te he says things how they are. But for him to go to that degree and be so upset about a comment, I think that whatever she said was probably out of line. 
I wasn't there, I, so I can't confirm. I only heard it from her side of things, and she's, she made it sound like it was just an offhand comment, that there was nothing to it. But this isn't just a, this is not a willy-nilly fun conversation. This is a very serious matter. And if I, she yeah, makes yeah. offhand comments like that, means that either she's incompetent or she's mm -hmm. overstepping or she doesn't know her position. I, I it believe, sounded I believe she to was me trying to make a point. That it was yeah. just a hypothetical to make a point. I, I don't think it was an offhand comment or joke. It was to make a point of the absurdity. What is the point? Then I I understand from their perspective. I believe um, her point was they this, were running this is a things, power grab. Exactly, yeah. From their perspective, they were running things just fine day to day, working through all their issues. They're uh, you know, coming to <laughs> a point where, you know, they're making progress in what their overarching goal is, and suddenly, uh, Max flies in and says, I'm in control of all of you. I you know, agree. I, I can understand why she is posing uh, that that is absurd from their perspective because they weren't talked to. That is insane to me. I agree that this came out of nowhere and people haven't been talked to. Although I do know after we had the, our meeting last Saturday that Max did go to PD and have a conversation. I don't know who specifically he talked to. Mm -hmm. And I also know that he has been trying to reach out to the captains or captain to have a conversation. So it's not that he hasn't done anything. I do am surprised that he hasn't talked to me, but that might be as per usual that I am awake at different hours compared to him. Um, I don't know if he reached out to uh, Nakoda or not. I think he should have specifically for something like this. No, he did not. Mm. We don't know that. I've spoken with the, I've spoken with the oh, He didn't. All of last night, he didn't. Okay. Uh, fuck. Uh, you, I lost my train of thought. Uh, no, you're, you're good. I, I'll, I'll give one more uh, kind of I would like to answer your, your, hyper, your oh, thing. Oh, um, yes, please, because I'm so... Yeah, yeah on that. Uh, I don't... I, and Michael knows this. I've made this very clear. I don't believe that the... If the mayors want something impartial, it should be impartial and should not be led by them. I see your ethical dilemma and I kind of agree with it. Okay. I do not I believe that when it comes to if you want somebody to be if you want someone to oversight something, they have to be neutral or at that point they be they worry the risk of becoming a yes man. They are under someone if they're an answer to someone, etc. We've seen this before with yes men in PD. My um, other uh, and th this this is purely a, a political question that that I propose to uh, to everyone in this room. Uh, I, I'm going I, I'm, I'm going to give everyone in, in here in this document in the mayor's office with this power the benefit of the doubt that this that this is going to pass and it's going to be the, the greatest thing since sliced bread. This is this is exactly what this city needs. Uh, this mm -hmm. is this is this is what's going to put PD on track. This is. Like holy fuck, man! We're, oh man! I why didn't we do this day one? Like I, I'm gonna say this is this is the best thing that this council has, has ever done and ever will do in the <laughs> history of the city. Uh, right. uh, PD doesn't doesn't like uh, you know outside forces coming in and dictating how it is, and, and we get a uh, fifty percent drop off of the current officers because they're throwing a hissy fit. Uh, is is that something that that? you all specifically michael uh and and Cantor, because you know you're you're the, you're the voting mm -hmm. the two voters here if this thing does achieve the desired results if this thing is great and and what we need mm. are are you two willing to accept the uh let, let's call it the, the short-term blowback of even less officers and even more resistance within the pd and until uh things get in line from what I've heard so far and the people that I've talked to, I don't think that would be the case. I don't think anyone has an issue. I think very much that what is being said and what is being communicated from the captains and down is that it is being twisted to this very bad thing that Max is going to make everything worse. But the people that I have talked to and heard do not seem to mind because they are seeing an issue. And they are not agreeing with how things are being run currently. I don't think that that at like half a PD would would walk out just because we are being put in this position. Uh, honestly, I I will say, um, 
I don't think half would either. I think there's plenty of people that just show up and do their job and probably don't necessarily give a shit. But when the staffing is already an issue, it certainly wouldn't help necessarily. So I'm kind of... No, I, I if, can, yeah. If all um, it takes for somebody not to... Great, but... No, but if, if all yeah. it takes is for somebody to walk yeah. out is that the mayor and the deputy mayor is now overseeing the captains. The captains that are currently in power, making all the shots and all the calls, striking them for not cleaning up somebody 